Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we learned how to calculate the discriminant of a quadratic equation and how to determine the nature of its roots. In this lecture, we are going to solve some likely examinable questions regarding this very topic. So let's begin with the first question. Find the values of the constant k for which the equation x squared minus into bracket k plus 1 x plus 5k minus 19 equals to 0 has equal roots. From the previous lecture, we learned that a quadratic equation has equal roots if the discriminant is equal to 0. We know that the discriminant is given by d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. From the equation, a is equal to 1, B is equal to negative into bracket k plus 1, and C is equal to 5k minus 19. Now let's substitute the values of A, B, and C into this equation. Now D is equal to B squared, and then B is negative into bracket k plus 1 squared minus 4 into bracket a is 1 and c is 5k minus 19. Now this is equal to 0. Now let's multiply negative 1 across. So it's going to be negative k minus 1 squared minus 4 into bracket 5k minus 19 is equal to 0. Negative k, negative 1, all squared is the same as negative k minus 1 and then negative k minus 1 and then we have minus 4 times 5k is 20k and then negative 4 times negative 19 is 76. Negative k times negative k is k squared. Negative k times negative 1 is k. Negative 1 times negative k is k. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. And then we have minus 20k plus 76 is equal to 0. So for the next step, we are going to have k squared. Now, k plus k is 2k. And 2k minus 20k is negative 18k. And then 1 plus 76 is 77. So we have this equal to 0. Now, the coefficient of the k squared term is 1. And the constant is 77. So we need to find the factors of 77 that multiply to 77 and add up to negative 18. Factors of 77 are 1 and 77, and then 7 and 11. So we are going to select this set of values. So we have k squared minus 7k plus, sorry, minus 11k plus 77 is equal to 0. Now let's factorize. So we have k on the outside and then k minus 7 inside the bracket and then minus 11 into bracket k minus 7 is equal to 0. So we have k minus 11 and then k minus 7 is equal to 0. So for the first solution, k minus 11 is equal to 0 k is equal to 11 and then for the second one k minus 7 is equal to 0 and k is equal to 7 so these are the set of values of k for which the equation has equal roots let's solve the next question so for the second question we are to find the relationship between p and q if the roots of the equation px squared plus qx 
plus 1 is equal to 0 are equal. So according to the question, we are to find the relationship between P and Q if they are equal roots of the equation Px squared plus Qx plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we know that for equal roots, the discriminant is equal to 0. So D is equal to B squared minus 4AC is equal to 0. From the equation, A is equal to P, B is equal to Q, and C is equal to 1. So let's fuse these values of A, B, and C into this equation. Now B is Q. So we have Q squared minus 4. A is P and C is 1. And that's equal to 0. So we have Q squared minus 4P is equal to 0. So we transpose negative 4P to the right hand side. And we have Q squared is equal to 4P. And then Q is equal to the square root of 4P. So this is the relationship between Q and P. That's very simple. Now let's try this question together. If the roots of x squared minus 7x plus k is equal to 0, and m and m minus 1 are the roots, find the values of the constant k. So we all know that the roots of a quadratic equation is given by the general quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. From the equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 7, and c is equal to k. Now let's plug the values of a, b, and c into this equation. So x is equal to negative b. Now b is negative 7. So we have negative 7 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 squared minus 4a. And a is 1. And then c is k divided by 2 into brackets 1. Negative 1 times negative 7 is 7. And then we have plus or minus negative 7 squared is 49 minus 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times k is 4k divided by 2. At this point, you realize that the quadratic equation has two roots. Now, the first one is, say, x1 is equal to 7 plus the square root of 49 minus 4k divided by 2. And then the second one, x2 is equal to 7 minus the square root of 49 minus 4k divided by 2. We realize that the roots of the equation are m and m minus 1. So let's say x1 is equal to m and x2 is equal to m minus 1. So we have m is equal to 7 plus the square root of 49 minus 4k divided by 2 and m minus 1 is equal to 7 minus the square root of 49 minus 4k divided by 2. So we had m is equal to 7 plus square root of 49 minus 4k divided by 2 and m minus 1 is equal to 7 minus the square root of 49 minus 4k 
divided by 2. So let's cross multiply. 2 times m is 2m and it's equal to 7 plus the square root of 49 minus 4k. Let's transpose 7 to the left hand side so that we have 2m minus 7 is equal to the square root of 49 minus 4k. Let's call this equation 1. Now for the second root, let's also cross multiply. So we are going to have 2 into bracket m minus 1 is equal to 7 minus the square root of 49 minus 4k. Now to do away with the negative sign attached to the square root, let's transpose negative the square root of 49 minus 4k to the left hand side and then 2 into bracket m minus 1 to the right hand side. So it's going to be 49 minus 4k is equal to 7 minus 2 into bracket m minus 1. And let's call this our second equation. Now because we have the square root of 49 minus 4k in equation 1 and then 49 minus 4k that is the square root of 49 minus 4k in equation 2 then we can equate the two equations so we are going to have 2m minus 7 from equation 1 is equal to 7 minus 2 into bracket m minus 1 from equation 2 now negative 2 times m is negative 2m and negative 2 times 1 is plus 2. So we have 2m and then we transpose negative 2 to the left hand side. And then 7 plus 2 and then negative 7 to the right hand side. So we have 4m is equal to 7 plus 7 is 14 and 14 plus 2 is 16. Four goes into itself once and into 16 four times. So we have m to be equal to 4. So one of the roots of the equation is equal to 4. Now the second one was m minus 1. And then m is equal to 4. So we have 4 minus 1 and then it's equal to 3. So m minus 1 is equal to 3. And that's the second root for the equation. Now to find the value of k. According to equation 2, the square root of 49 minus 4k is equal to 7 minus 2 into bracket m minus 1. Now m is equal to 4. So we have 7 minus 2 into bracket 4 minus 1. Now 4 minus 1 is 3. So we have 7 minus 2 times 3 is 6 and 7 minus 6 is 1. So we have the square root of 49 minus 4k is equal to 1. Now to do away with the square root, let's square both sides of the equation. So we are going to have 49 minus 4k is equal to 1 and then we transpose 49 to the right hand side and then we have negative 4k is equal to 1 minus 49 which is equal to negative 48 we divide both sides of the equation by 4 and then we have k to be equal to 12 so the value of k is equal to 12 so now the quadratic equation looks like x squared minus 7x plus 12 and to confirm that the roots of the equation are 4 and 3 factors of 12 that multiply to 12 and add up to negative 7 are negative 3 and negative 4 so the equation looks like x minus 3 and then x minus 4
is equal to 0. Now, x minus 3 is equal to 0 means that x is equal to 3. And then x minus 4 is equal to 0 is x is equal to 4. So these are the roots of the quadratic equation. And the constant k is equal to 12.